Hello everyone, this is Christoph here from Inter Studio, and today I'm going to show you on this PBF4 how you can toggle with this button the specific CC messages sent out from this potentiometer. But you will need a PBF4, but this could be also utilized uh, on other modules where you have a button and a control element with quotation like an encoder. Okay, here we are in the grid editor and I'm going to change first the potentiometer. To do that, we go to the init event and we are going to add a self variable. Self variable CC is set to 12. This is for the beginning. We need a self variable because we will need to reference this value from the button presses. So when we press this button, we will have to check on this potentiometer's uh, self variable CC and set it to something based on the toggle condition. So let's come back to this potentiometer. We have our CC value here and we will consume it because we want to use the MIDI action block and within this MIDI action block, we need to change the default CC to self.cc. Now we have to check if this will output 12. Let's come here to the MIDI monitor. And now I'm outputting 12. If we are changing this to 36, commit. Now it's 36. Okay, let's come back here, set it to 12. Next up, after we set up this potentiometer, let's go to the button. The button by default is in momentary. So if I press it and release it, it's just that, like 127, a value high, and zero coming back to it down. We are going to go to the init event, go to the actions button mode and set it to toggle. Here we are, I hope it's visible. If I press it, it's on, I press it, it's off. Cool. And now to the actual button event. Here I can remove this MIDI action block. We don't need that for now. We can also clean up this local note variable and this variable as well. It's a good practice to remove any variable you find on a control element which you won't use. So let's go and add a press release special action. Why do we need this press release action block? Um, basically when you press down a button, that's a state, and we release it, that's another state. We don't want to double trigger some values or some settings in this case. So that's where this press release action comes in handy. Now we will go and add an if condition, because we will check on the button value if it's on or off. To do so, we add in the button value section expression and check if it's higher than zero. We also need to add here an else section because we will do something here and there based on the expression, based on the toggle state. We will use two code blocks and we are going to reference the previously set up uh, potentiometer self variable. To do so, we need the element referencing syntax. This can be checked out on our documentation sites where you can find all the info about global variables, local variables, and self variables used on grid. Here I'm going to assign 48, for example. I'm going to copy this one, come here and paste it and change it to 12. Okay, okay, and store. Okay, now I'm going to test it out by looking at the MIDI monitor. By default, I have sending out uh, MIDI data on CC12 and I toggle it and now it's on 48. So basically when I change this toggle, the potentiometer MIDI actions are sent out differently. So here we are in Ableton and we have here in preferences the pickup mode selected because when we change between the different CCs, 
then sudden value jumps could happen because potentiometers have absolute value. Most of the digital audio workstations have some kind of feature like this to avoid sudden value jumps. But uh, on grid, we can also program our own value scaling mechanism, which will be then hardware supported. So let's here close this preference panel and make our MIDI mapping. For example, this is the first one, and this is the other one. And here I see the value scaling activated, and I have my filter here controlled. Change, it's picked up, and I can control a different parameter. This is the basic how you can um, change some values on a different control element. This works within a module. So currently you can't program uh, from one module another one. So I couldn't set up, for example, on this EF44 some value. Um, you can only do this within a module, but uh, you can already bring out some cool features like this from your controller. We are going to upload this profile to the Profile Cloud and you will be able to play with it on your own PBF4 module to check out the configuration in detail and make your own adjustments. Thanks for watching this quick tip and see you in the next one. Bye.